Hi, this is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World with another series of phrasal verbs to teach you using the verb get. But before I teach you these phrasal verbs, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can help you learn some more English using videos. So as you can see, I'm here at a remote railway station and uh, I'm here because I want to get away from it all. What does get away from it all mean? It means I've had a very busy week, I'm tired and I want to go somewhere far away where I can just relax. So I want to get away from it all. People usually go on holiday to get away from it all. So they'll go off to distant beaches in the Caribbean. Where do you usually go to get away from it all? I like the countryside, so I often like going into the countryside to get away from it all. In any case, I'm here at the station waiting for my train and uh, it's rather remote, so I hope I find somebody to help me. Let's take a look around. Um, in fact, uh, uh, I would like to get on the train and see if I can uh, get someone to help me with my baggage. Um, I've no idea now if uh, once I manage to put my baggage up, someone will be able to help me get it down again. So if you have a heavy piece of baggage, you can always ask people, can you help me get down my baggage off the baggage rack? Or um, perhaps if you're on an airplane, you can ask, can you help me get down my baggage out of the baggage bin, out of the luggage bin? It's actually an overhead bin in an airplane. But get down means uh, take down. So that's something that's important to learn if you need help. I hope I find somebody to help me get my baggage down. And uh, when I get to the train, I'll have to get on. And when I arrive at my destination, I'll have to get off again. So I do hope uh, it uh, stops long enough for me to get on and get off without having to hurry if I've got lots of get baggage to get off the train as well. Now, some people, they don't buy the ticket. They try to get away with not buying it. Get away with something means that you do something dishonest. For example, if students cheat in class, they are trying to get away with not having studied. And so get away with not buying a ticket means going on a journey and hoping the ticket conductor won't catch you or the t ticket inspector. So I hope you haven't tried to get away with something uh, because it's not really very honest. Uh, so uh, these are the verbs for today. So you have to get away from it all when you want to go on holiday. You get away with something if you've done something a little dishonest like getting on a train or a bus without buying the ticket. Um, you can get on a train and you can get off a train. Uh, that's different from other forms of transport um, because you can get into a car and out of a car. You don't get on a car. And you can ask someone to help you get down your baggage if you're in a tricky situation. Oh, I forgot. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, will you? Okay, bye.